Replication begins when enzymes uncoil the double-stranded DNA molecule and separate the strands. These strands serve as templates for synthesizing new DNA molecules. The area where the strands separate is called the replication fork. The two template strands are anti-parallel, that is, they are oriented in opposite directions. One strand is oriented in the 3' to 5' direction and called the leading strand template. The other strand is oriented in the 5' to 3' direction and called the lagging strand template. On the leading strand template, DNA polymerase attaches where a small piece of RNA, called a primer, has been attached to the DNA. As the DNA polymerase moves down the leading strand template in the 3' to 5' direction, it synthesizes a complementary strand. This synthesis of a new DNA strand, called replication, proceeds continuously toward the opening replication fork. Replication of the lagging strand is more complicated because DNA polymerase only works in the 5' to 3' direction. Thus, the lagging strand must be completed in segments, using a backstitching mechanism. The DNA polymerase begins replicating at an RNA primer attached to the DNA, and continues until it reaches the end of the fragment. Each segment of DNA replicated on the lagging strand is called an Okazaki fragment. As the lagging strand is being made, the enzyme RNAs H degrades the RNA primer, and then a DNA polymerase molecule fills in the gap with nucleotides. Once the gap is filled, the ends of the separate DNA pieces are linked together by the enzyme DNA ligase. Though the leading strand is made continuously and the lagging strand is made in Okazaki fragments, the process is simultaneous and continuous, and replication of each strand keeps up with the uncoiling of the parental DNA at the replication fork.